In the latest episode of T3, the Chris's cover the upcoming Goldeye release later this month, TrueNest Connect going live in beta, and tease an upcoming file manager for TrueNest, let's jump right in. We are currently a few weeks from the Goldeye official release. It's expected to come at the end of this month based on the news that they released in the podcast. The Chris has highlighted a lot of the changes that we can expect in the upcoming Goldeye. We've covered a lot of this in this channel already, but they just recapped the update screen changes that no longer use the quote unquote trains for updates that instead go with a different system. The UX improvements that are on almost every screen that we've covered in previous videos. The network enhancements, this being the NVMe over fabric protocol and a new driver for 400 gig network speeds if you have the capability on your hardware. VM disk import, formats like VMDK, QCOW2 and others, as well as the ability to export those directly into TrueNAS. So if you're using a virtual machine that you have from a different virtual machine manager, you can now directly import those types of disks into TrueNAS using just a checkbox on the VM create screen. The new NVIDIA GPU driver is coming. That's going to give us support for the 50 series cards, but also deprecate a lot of the thousand series cards and earlier. You can go ahead and take a look at the link I'm going to provide in the video description to see whether or not your card is supported. In the podcast, they mentioned that there is something on the TrueNAS forums that talk about a way to reverse that driver update. It's kind of complex and I probably wouldn't recommend it for beginner users, but it is possible if you absolutely cannot change your card to modify the kernel that's being used by TrueNAS. It is just not recommended for beginners. ZFS is going to be updated to 2.3.4. That's going to give us a lot of new features, the highlights of which are the encrypted snapshot application, better memory management when the memory is under pressure, and the ZFS rewrite command for extending a VDEV a single drive at a time without having to run a third party script, it will automatically rebalance all the data on the drives for you. Lastly, they talked about the auto migration of apps from one pool to another. So if you're one of the users who has asked, what do I do if I have an SSD and all my apps are on my HDD, how do I move them? Goldeye is going to allow you to do that automatically by just selecting a different pool in the apps configuration screen. And the big news from this release is TrueNAS Connect being live in beta. I'm not gonna show you TrueNAS Connect right now. I'm gonna do a separate video on that later. There is a blog post with some screenshots on it, which I'm gonna show right now. TrueNAS Connect is basically going to be a single pane of glass that allows you to manage your TrueNAS instance from the web, as well as other TrueNAS instances you connect. It's a central command interface done completely in the browser. This is not going to give IX systems the ability to see into your NAS. That's not possible. What they've built is a web-based management platform where you connect to your true NAS on your LAN, which means this is not going to be accessible outside your home. Unless you have a VPN, you are going to need to provide your username and password, which you then can add to a key ring. Of course, your key ring is your password manager. They've created a system. So when you're logged into TrueDesk Connect, you're actually using a secure SSL cert. This is not going to be an unencrypted connection between you and your server. The real-time health monitoring is the first feature they're highlighting. What you're gonna see on your dashboard is the health of your system. That's whether or not your drives are up and running. If there's an issue with a drive that's been scanned from smart testing or from scrubs coming back with errors, all the basic health monitoring you would see on your TrueNAS dashboard, you're gonna be able to see in the connect control plane. There's going to be alert deliveries in the event that something is amiss. So you'll see here the screenshot they've added. Now email is the only thing that's available, but SMS, Slack, and PagerDuty are coming soon. The strength of this is even though this connect panel only works on your LAN, because you're creating an account within TrueNAS Connect, even if your TrueNAS server goes offline, this alert can still go out. Inventory management is a really cool part of this. You can see based on the image I brought up on the screen, if you were to click the inventory tab here on the left, this is what it would look like for a system that's been added. In this case, the name of the system is Goldeye RC1. It'll show you the main board and some of the main features here. All the hard drives and pools that are connected to it, as well as the GPU device. This also monitors the health of all these things all at once. One of the other features that isn't detailed on this section yet is the ability to add other people to manage your TrueNAS. So just because I log in with my OAuth doesn't mean I can't allow other people to log in with their OAuth. And that works with individual systems as well as group policy. So if you're used to Active Directory and things like this, from the enterprise side, you can allow a group of users into a group permission, which only has access to certain servers. There's going to be multiple tiers of TrueNAS. Right now, it says it's available in two tiers, the foundation and the plus. The plus is going to be $50 per NAS per year. The foundation includes right now email reporting, SSL configuration, the web install, secure login, and automated SSL web certificates for encrypted control pass. However, I will tell you that some of the features in the Plus subscription right now, like the single sign-on, the enclosure management, the statistics, all these other things are currently live on the beta. So I don't know when the split is gonna happen for the foundation to the Plus, 
There were a few user questions that were mentioned here and two of them I'm going to bring up. And the first one is, why is there no file manager in TrueNAS itself? The Chris's have said there is going to be a native file manager for TrueNAS implemented in Half Moon. Half Moon is going to be released after Goldeye, which is going to be in April of 2026. It's going to be integrated with the search function being built for Spotlight Search. So all the work that's going into Spotlight is then going to be rolled into some type of file manager in the future. The second question was, why can't TrueNAS be non-monolithic? The idea of that being they wanted to shard the OS to a allow updates without reboots. So the question becomes, how do you update your TrueNAS system in the event that you can't restart it? The idea was deemed too difficult for now because of the massive effort it would take to rewrite the OS. That's it for today's video. Go ahead and give me some comments below about what you think about the new features coming up in Goldeye, what you guys think about TrueNAS Connect. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so when future videos about this come out, you are alerted immediately. And thank you guys for watching.